Hi everyone, it's Miss Cheryl. Um, this month's project is um, we're going to paint an apron. Um, I have the picture is every season everything with love. Um, it's part of our winter reading theme, which is savor a story. So it's about cooking and everything. So we're going to do an apron. You're going to have a choice between the jean apron or a um, I think it's just called like a canvas. So uh, that'll help be your two choices. But if you have a specific choice or color that you want, you're going to want to come in and make sure you early so that you can get whatever you want because it'll be first come, first serve. So I went and to the dollar store and I purchased these paint markers. Um, I got the three. I got a white, a black, and a silver. And they were probably about um, seven dollars total. It was a little over six something. So they're not really expensive. So I'm going to try and use those just to try something different. I said otherwise you can use any kind of regular acrylic paint because if anytime I get any paint on my clothes, it stays. So it'll work fine. But you might want to wash your apron first, and then. Um, it'll probably paint easier. So what I did is I took my pattern and I will give you a piece of tracing paper. I traced it out and then I put it on here, put my transfer paper under it and you're going to want to make sure it's the shiny side down and then I traced all around. You're going to want to trace it like with a blunt object but you don't have to trace it with a pencil. I mean, because you can just go right over this pattern, but if you want to reuse it, you're going to want to put it on a piece of tracing paper. And then every time I give you um, this graphite paper, you want to keep it because it's reusable up to multiple times, so you don't want to throw it away. So I trace mine on. I mean, you can just barely make out the outline, but um, it's visible and you can see it. So. But yeah, these paint markers, they came in, it was in the craft art craft section, and they're just permanent paint markers, so at the dollar store. Okay, but I got paint brushes and a dry brush for working if I decide to um, change it up, because you will need to do some sort of shading and everything on this project, so you're going to... Uh, need some paint brushes. So I'm going to have my angle paint brush, I have fine point paint brush, and that should be about it. But I'm going to just bring my flat one just in case. Okay, so first thing I'm going to start, I'm going to start working from the top and come down just so that you're not working into your project. So it says to shake these really good before you uh, get started. So shake it up and then you're going to want to activate it. So I mean either active on a piece of paper or what, but you're going to want to put a piece of paper under, I don't know if I had already said that, under your project just so it doesn't give it a bleed through on your table or into the back of the um, project. You're going to push your marker down until it starts to activate. Hopefully mine will work. <laughs> Should have tried it. Here it comes. See it's starting to come up to the tip. Okay. And then I figure this is going to be the easiest way to do the lettering. So let's see how it works. So it's basically like those chalk pins that we just used for our last project. Okay, that turned out really nice. It's not pretty easy. You can even better it all by yourself. You don't even have to follow lettering on this picture. You can, you know, make up your own lettering. Shake, pull off this tip again, 
And what's nice about these markers too that you can switch the tip. So if you get this one where it's no longer it goes blunt on you, you can pull it out and flip it around I and reuse the other side. Okay, now we gotta do with love. on my piece of paper that I have under my <laughs> making a line in my project. Go back over it, make it darker, wherever you want to make it darker, make it bolder. Okay, there is our lettering. So you're going to save your pen for later. So um, we are going to do, mm, I'm going to do the white first and then we'll outline over because everything's basically going to be silver and where the heart are on our picture. I think we'll do them red for the hearts and um, I also have some of this like puffy paint so I thought maybe I can use something like that on mine but you can have whatever you have at home. I have this um, like glimmer paint so that if you can paint over something you want to make shiny so you can use whatever uh, medium you want to use. And actually, it's like since I drew in where um, like the salt and then the glass would look, it's like you might have to go through and use your stencil and retrace over it. It might be better to um, just fill it all in. Looks like this white might not cover as good as there we go I wore the right color of shirt today so that since I'm in my black leather <laughs> otherwise I would have had it all over my sleeve and we're gonna want probably a gray paint so that it'll help us make these shakers look like glass when we are seeing uh done painting and doing our shading detail so it'll make them look like they pop off the apron instead of just laying flat offer much colors in these paint pens but I mean you could probably order them on Amazon or offline and get a lot more colors and styles but the dollar store they just had well at least the one I went to just had black white silver and gold so other ones might have more and, yeah, and if you go to a craft shop they might definitely offer more varieties so I think this dries a lot faster too. You're definitely gonna want to seal it when it's done just so that it'll 
stay better. Even though, you know, like I said, once you get paint on your clothes, it usually doesn't come out. But the first coat, like the base coat, that will stay on there. But some of the paint um, that you paint over, like if I'm going to make this all white and I paint the red on top, the red might come off more so than the paint underneath need to do a shading because this looks almost like an be like a glass to start with. So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the one over here for the black pepper next. Because then I'm gonna go back to my black marker. I think I'm gonna set it upside down. Maybe that'll bring the paint to the tip more too. To the black. Oh, I just want to stand it up. I didn't want to stand up. Let's give it a shake. I'm going to do the detail for over here. And then I'll go back in with the white. I'm not sure how well. So if anybody ever has any recommendations of any kind of craft they would like to try, just send me out an email. I always send my email with our packets. If you ever um, want to just ask any kind of questions about a craft or something, feel free to ask. I mean, even when you're doing the project, you can always give me a call here at the library if it's during hours. Um, I can assist you if you miss a step or if you're having um, technical difficulties or something. Um, I'm always here. Just give a call. Now I go back to the white. Fill in over here. Did it. That was silver. We're just going to go and fill this all in with the silver. And we're going to go over it with our black. my pattern I came down like a couple inches from the top and that's what I put it so you're gonna want to just you know eyeball it to your taste or you know just try and get it centered as best you can and uh it doesn't have to be exact it's just however you like the look of it okay let's see now I think we're going to try the this puppy paint for my part. You know what? I probably should wait to see. So this will probably take a lot longer to dry. I have to leave it somewhere to uh, set. Since it's a liquid glitter paint that's clear, so I'm going to take my dry brush. I'm just going to give it a, just a little. Give a little sparkle around 
going to the outside. I might, I don't know, we'll see. But right now, let's just say, I think they come out really cute. Okay, make sure it air dries real well. Use like I, where I used my puppy paint. Um, and seal it, everything will seal on and go from there. I said I might tinker some more and decorate my lettering, but I hope you um, share your project with me. And I want to say thank you for participating and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks and bye.